Now let's take a look at a different kind of problem. In this kind of problem, you're going to get a math problem and you're going to build a math model for it. And so let's read our problem. Doug Watkins bought 347 fidget spinners for $6 each. How much did Doug spend on fidget spinners? That is a lot of fidget spinners. Okay, so we're going to need to make an array that is six long and it's going to have three parts, uh, three in the hundreds, four in the tens, and seven in the ones. So let's start with our array. It's got a height of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, because six dollars for each. In the hundreds, it's got a length of three. In the tens, it's got a length of four. And in the ones, it's got a length of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Cool, now we just fill it in. So right now, we're filling in our hundreds. And we notice that we have an array that is six by three. Well, six by three is 18. So, and it's in the hundreds column. So you're gonna add two zeros to make it in the hundreds. So 1,800. Now we're gonna go to our tens. And we have an array that is six by four. Six times four is 24. And it is in the tens column. So we're gonna add one zero. So 24 and for the, is one zero for your tens column. Last, we have the ones column, and we're going to get an array which is 7 by 6, and 7 times 6 is 42. So we don't need to add any extra zeros on this because it's in the ones column. Now we just got to add it up in expanded form. We have 1800 plus. 240 plus 42. And we're going to get 2,082. Go step back. Take a picture of it. Add it to your portfolio. And here we have 3, 000, 347 times 6 equals 2,082. All right, that's simple. I hope you enjoy the next problem.